what I have here is the TOG 2, finally in War Thunder. And it comes in two configurations. So I put into the configuration where main gun penetration, 204 millimeters with the shot Mark 1 shell. And you probably won't be using the HE round, but that's not bad. 200 mil pen at BR 5.3. Not terrible, not amazing. But one of the neat things about this vehicle is you can switch it between two configurations. And now you've got a secondary gun and you've got sponsors on the side. How cool is that? There's not many vehicles in War Thunder where you can change the look dramatically by just adding a modification. And you gain a secondary gun here and you've got sponsors. The secondary gun is used for firing smoke shells, it seems. Okay, without further ado, let us commence forth. Toggers! Look how fat it is, all majestic. What is it, like 80 tons? I'm going off memory here. 72 tons of mass, though this doesn't have the sponsors on the side, so maybe they add some additional weight. This can reach a balling 18 kilometers per hour top speed in good situations. I'm thinking right now of that meme where it's just Travolta just passing the shells forward. I'm sure you've seen that meme a hundred times. Yep, and it has an eight-man crew. Plenty of dudes in here. So we've got four dudes in the turret, two in the hole, and then one for each of the sponsors that is currently not there. But there's spare dudes. Dudes in case of an emergency. Look, even with that gun, when you stick it backwards, it still doesn't stretch over the engine deck. you got so much spare room. <laughs> It's just all engine in there, engine and transmission. That's my first kill with a TOG! Okay, now I need to be on high alert. Entering full combat alertness. Alarm! Action positions! See? We've entered the combat zone. <laughs> Stop shying wanker! I know he's saying quicker, but it just sounds like wanker. Ah, this vehicle does have an issue of being incredibly long. Which wreaks havoc on mobility. He's not looking at me for some reason. That's good. Follow up shot. There you go, second kill. Oh, T-34 spoiled. Go, 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 go. Third kill. Toggers. Potential fourth enemy. Fourth kill. Keep it together. Keep it together. Enemy spotted. That was just some tires. Oh no, 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 no. Artillery strike on me. I need. I need anything on me. Oh no, no, no. Yes, ace achieved. And it's not the end of me yet. As you can see, the enemy to my left has been taken care of. We are still in the fight. Path is even assisting, I think, with repairs. Good to go. Forward! I assume the flanks are secured and I can focus head on, which is what this tank is great at. For king and country. Can't stop the revenge cast, sadly. It is what it is, but I did achieve my five kills. And you know the bad thing about war? Is it keeps perpetuating. You hurt me, I hurt you. You hurt me because I hurt you. And so forth and so forth. You revenge bomb me, I'm about to revenge bomb you twice as hard. There it is. Oh, dang. So we did kill one. One incy Bincy friendly fire incident. But we did get seven enemies. So that's good. Get out of the bleeding way. Oh. I got the range though. I aim a little lower. Nah, this 200mm gun is not working against the angled tiger. I might as well be lobbing a 37mm shell at him. Okay, I, I take that back completely. I managed to penetrate him easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. 100% skill. Oh no you don't. You didn't expect that touch of us, did you? 
Uh, but the curse of this vehicle is that the rounds that pen don't instantly one shot unless they hit ammunition. It's not like a T-34 85. I mean, yeah, I'd already killed one of his crew members and I killed the other three. What was noise? Okay, I managed to dodge around somehow by sheer luck. Wanker. There, I see you now. Oh, but I'm... I'm not stuck to engage you. I got your range down, though. Ow. Hold, hang in there, armor. I put my tow hook on. It's more of a... For the sake of it. Ancient transmission. Right, he's committed to fight me now. Stand and fight, coward. Cool, three kills. That's very optimistic. Two for all your worth, challenger. Two! God bless you. I'll thank him for that in a second. Okay, not brilliant. I, I didn't get the assist, but I contributed in some way, I suppose. Uh, free. There you go, that's me thanking him for the tow. Transmission of the Tigers out! And he's got a friend of him. Kill assist! Bloody hell, he went up like a city block. That's the fourth kill! I got incredibly lucky with that shot. Come on, one more kill. Let's get the ace. The ace is coming home. Where was that shot from? No! Cursed to not have ever have aces again. I thought there was somebody there. I was suspicious. Every time I looked there, I didn't see it. But in the corner of my eye, I thought there was something going on. I'm going to nuke his ass. No, don't revenge bomb, it's immoral. Ha <laughs> ha, 12,000 pound bomb got boom. It just feels so right that a Lancaster is on the map Berlin dropping a grand slam into the spawn area. Hopefully two kills, that's all I want. Is it so much to ask for? Easy kills? You know what, that's a monkey paw. I said I want to get two kills. The monkey paw curled. One of them was an enemy and one of them was a friendly. Okay, ready crew, this is the moment we've been training for. Okay, here we go. Engaging. I see the target, yes, his track's blown off. Let's go get his side armor. He's flat on now. Behind him. Okay, unfortunately the guy was shooting at got killed. They lobbed the smoke shell at me, that's bad. Advancing to the left. Let's try and get around the smoke shell. That is very cheeky. I've never seen enemies use smoke shells this aggressively. Okay, first kill of the round. They are really aggressive with those smoke shells. Okay, parried one. Good job, SU-85. Advancing. Talk to more like Pog to agree. Hang on. Oh, I wish this thing fired APHE. That would have been so good. Wait, he's stuck though, isn't he? Loading HE. I hope that's the same trajectory. Sit still for a second. That's why you carry HE. Why do people give me grief for carrying HE shows? You need it occasionally. Bit of luck, bit of skill, and oh, he's turning a dead ASU-57. I can't figure out if that's adorable or cursed. Why's my gun side jiggling? Spotted. Nice one. That's the third kill.
Aimbot hacks on. Fourth kill. Now, I'm not going to say it, but everyone watching this, you know what I'm thinking right now. I'm screaming it in my head. No, no, no! I wasn't going to get the ace, was I? I even didn't want to say it out loud in case it cursed me. I thought if I just kept it internalized, maybe. All right, chat, you can relax now. There's not going to be any action for a couple of minutes. Make a cup of tea, make a hot beverage, open a can of whatever you like to drink. Grab a snack. It's going to take a little while to get to see. Can you make tea inside the tog? Yes, there's ample room for making tea. This isn't just me like, haha, Brits like making tea. I mean, while there is no technically tea boiling facility built into the tank as specification, the crew compartment is most certainly large enough on the inside to facilitate making beverages. Especially if you get the version with sponsors, like there's ample room in there. You can hold a tea party and talk. Indeed, there's so much room for activities, especially on the agent deck. You can put a porch up there. Oh. Yeah, one issue with nothing to do on the way to the action is it makes you complacent. You lower your defenses. You don't expect vehicles to be in your flanks, but it's possible that M18s have infiltrated the rear areas of your lines and are looking for easy kills. You could probably wreck a map by dying in an inconvenient position. I like to like tactically sink in yourself, essentially like a blocking ship. Except a blocking tank. Floor it! Oh no, Gaijin, no, no, not the slippery slope tracks. Who's for washing up liquid on the small dune? That's how the Germans could have def uh, defended Berlin. If only the Germans had slavered all the streets and washing up liquid. Then for heavy Soviet tanks wouldn't have been able to move into the streets. It would have had to have been infantry only. Oh god, I feel like a rat that's fallen into one of those one-way traps. You can't get out of it. No! No! <laughs> Come on! It's not that steep. There we go. I've only wasted half the match here. Yep, I reckon they could have put on the back of the TOG's engine deck like the Whirlpool Winds turret. Like a quad mount. Look at that Churchill gun. Oh, I literally got all the fellas looking at me. Panzer III drove into a brick wall trying to check out my glorious physique. You may not like it, but this is what peak performance looks like. Look, that's the guy back there before he starts taking my dangerous supplement program, which you can find in the description below. And this is me now after doing just 12 weeks of my supplement program. It only costs $5,000 per 28 weeks. Nah, you guys couldn't behave, so I had to take the gun for the tog away. Now you're just an almond block. Just keep saying wanker on loop. There you go, you silly sausage. It's an M18. Hopefully you'll be no more soon. Sod you. It feels like the ice too when you like switch into that second gear and you sort of drives a bit more steady in reverse. Commander machine gunner. Great, so nothing useful. Oh man, this... Armor-piercing shells and their effects on Dwarf Under society. We need armor-piercing HE. I am now British Macarver. <laughs> My first kill is backwards, Tog. As you can clearly see, backwards Tog is superior to forward Tog. Okay, we need to breach this corner to the right. <laughs> Advancing. Boom! Ah, Cass. The one thing that infinite armor can't fix. Okay, it looks like he needs some assistance. Okay, maybe. Don't think I say this often, but maybe we can pull off a flank with the talk. Give me everything she's got, engineer. <laughs> he just got flanked by a tog. Oh, 
Okay, I don't think you can pen the front with that. Yep, you can't pen the front of a Togas with that 50 mil. Gonna need a bigger gun, son. This is pretty much how the British saw the Tog being used in actual combat. Just an unstoppable force of British steel advancing towards Jerry, quaking in their boots under the saturation of light machine gun fire. You see, the Tog was so good that they had to make a Togas 2. They just had to drop it. I like how we're in the squad together as well. Overwhelming British firepower. Driver, gunner, loader. Yes, the two things you really want to hit. Driver and gunner. Target destroyed. No! Friendly toggers down. No, 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 no. Drive, 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 drive. Don't want to get rear really shot by that thing. But the M36 can't see. Advancing. Well, reversing, but advanced reversing. Russian bars. I think we need to fall back a little bit. Because there's an enemy there that could push me. Doesn't matter, I got pushed from there. Dang it. I think it was just sad that I didn't actually get shot in the rear engine deck. I just got shot head on. So right in the crew compartment. Okay, bomb bay open. I'm not quite sure, but I feel instinctually here. Basically just called a nuking on myself. On my past self. Oh, there's a plane flying low to it. Maybe I might die. It did. Let me read the chat. No, it, it didn't. Either way, I got four kills with that British nuke. Is that enemy planes coming for me? Aircraft destroyed. Bombay is open. Sacrificing some of the altitude, gaining for more speed, full whip. Oh shoot, that's right in front of me. Fucking Sweden. It's always Sweden. It is a big conspiracy. It is a big conspiracy theory that just Sweden exists. Sweden is out to get me. It is out to get you. Sweden will not stop until it ruins any fun you've ever had in this ruddy game. Yeah, that was actually pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this vehicle if you managed to get it. If not, I hope one day you'll have the opportunity to unlock it. Farewell, and I'll see you in the next video.